For people who aren't familiar with Molly Bloom as a person and the experience she had, can you talk a little bit about what makes her story so compelling and so universally fascinating? You know, I think the fact that this woman, Molly Bloom, was a champion. She was, a, a, you know, just missed the Olympics by this much. She had incredible, uh, well above the average uh, law school testing uh, for Harvard. Um, she was planning on going to law school. She took some time off and fell into this poker thing. And she ended up running a business where she was making millions and millions and millions of dollars. Um, and I think that, you know, obviously at the end of the story she, she breaks a little law here, but that's not really why they, they, they took her in. They took her in because they wanted to uh, uh, nail the Russian mob and thought that she could help them. Um, it's a story about uh, uh, women's empowerment. It's a story about, you know, uh, overcoming uh, uh, adversity. Uh, whether you're a woman or a man, that's something that everybody wants to see. The character of Molly Bloom, of course, is a winning combination of glamour, humility, integrity. Can you talk a little bit about the qualities that Jessica Chastain has as a performer that make her such a perfect fit for that mold? You know, Jessica's a great actress uh, on all levels. Uh, she has enormous vulnerability. She's beautiful. She's sexy. She's smart. And, and she's such a world-class actor. Uh, it's not easy to uh, do 10 pages a day the way she had to. I mean, it was a, a long, long, I mean, you know, Aaron writes dialogue. Most movie scripts are 120 pages. This was 200. Uh, characters talk twice as fast in an Aaron Sorkin movie. Um, she just had everything that we were hoping for. She was our first and only choice, and we were very fortunate to, uh, to have her dire uh, to, to star in the movie. Uh, Idris Elba is one of our beloved national treasures here. Um, can you talk a little bit about what made him such an interesting choice, I guess, for the... For... Yeah, Idris is a great actor, and I love the idea that he's playing this former prosecutor uh, who grew up in Brooklyn. Um, and, and you know, he, he's... What can I say? Uh, when Idris comes on the screen, no matter what he's doing, he's electrifying. Um, and, and just... I think, I think that he's, it's not a, a role that one would necessarily presume him to do, which is exactly why I thought it was interesting to cast him in the role. Aaron Sorkin is an iconic storyteller, but this is significant in marking his transition to a role directing as well as writing. We know what Aaron's like as a writer. Can you talk about what he's like as a director, though? You know what? He is prepared. He is thoughtful. He's great with the actors. You know, I think he's been uh, preparing his whole life for this. Um, he didn't want to direct the movie. We had to convince him to do it. Um, and, uh, and I think he's, you know, he's a wonderful uh, a director and he will continue to write for other directors, as he will tell you.